Hi, I'm Alex Ernst. I'm here at Caton's Lane, home of Saffron Walden Town Football Club, the 19th oldest club in the world. And today I'm going to be interviewing the manager, Stuart Wardley. Tell us about the day you got the call to say Queen's Park Rangers were interested in signing you. Tim Moylet, that was the manager then, said to me, oh, uh, we're playing Cockfosters away, but you can't play. And I said, oh, I want to play in this cup game. The chairman then said, no, no, you won't be, because you're playing in a uh, trial match tomorrow for QPR. And I just laughed and thought it was a joke. He said, no, 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 this is, this is serious. And lo and behold, I had a trial the next day. How did you feel inside on your first day at QPR? When I was in the changing room and I sat there and I was literally petrified. One of the, the older senior pros then come in, Timmy Breaker, who was at West Ham, and he said, oh, how you doing, you're right, I'm Tim. And I was like, oh, I used to watch him on TV and stuff like that, him and Gavin Pig and a few others. Uh, but once I got you know, into the swing of it, yeah. it, was, it was just like uh, any other training. Tell us about your debut, pulling on the famous hoops in front of the Rangers faithful. I can remember it like it was yesterday. I invited the boys up from South and Walden, scoring two goals on my home debut yeah. with something else. And obviously from there, it just catapulted and, and it was nice for them all to see. From playing non-league at South and Walden Town to playing in front of 16,000 fans at Loftus Road, how did you cope with the pressure? In the atmosphere, only helped me and the adrenaline of playing in front of that many people it was just it was just brilliant every week it just gave you that yeah. extra 10 percent what was it like training under england legend jerry francis when i first got there i, I thought to myself i would only be in the reserves and he said i'll be training with the first team and he was brilliant to me he just gave me a, a bit more experience in and in, in the whole knowledge of, of the game he believed in me and, and we just went from there you also worked under Ian Holloway. What was that like? Yeah, that was a bit different. He is such a character. Uh, a really, really funny bloke. He's got his own ways of coaching. He expresses himself no. a lot yeah. in his training, which is quite funny sometimes. You won Player of the Year while at QPR. Tell us about that. I was leading goal scorer. It was just a roller coaster, and which I was loving every minute of. I had really good you know, relationship with the fans and the honour of them choosing me to be player of the year was just, you know, a nice yeah. and on the cake for me really and uh, it was a, a really proud moment for me. There was a lot of boardroom turmoil at QPR during your time. Did that have any effect on the players? It did in a way because uh, the following year we got relegated and obviously there was a lot of um, talk in, in around the boardroom whether we were going to go into liquidation and things like that and um, so it, some people might say it didn't but I personally thought it did and the atmosphere around the club wasn't the same. Have you ever been seriously injured? Yeah when I left QPR I went to Rushton Diamonds and I got really badly injured there I was um, it was in a tackle that put me out for a year and a half the surgeon said I might not ever play again and then words Back then, that was quite scary. Have you ever pulled pranks or had them pulled on you as a footballer? I remember vividly one of my my uh, very first jumpers I bought. It was really expensive when I was at QPR. After training, I come back. I went to put my jumper on, thinking, "What's something funny about my jumper?" And I looked, <laughs> and they'd cut the patches out, <laughs> which was uh, which uh, at that time it was lucky I was playing there. Otherwise, yeah. I'd probably gone mad. But it was uh, it was good fun. When you look back in hindsight, what changes, if any, would you have made to your career? Would have stayed in a bit more. <laughs> Probably I could have done a, you know, trained a little bit harder, even though we were yeah. still training hard. But the extra bits to make to become a better player. There's been a growing sense of confidence about the Bloods over the last few years. What is your ambition with the club? On a managerial level, I just think. I'd love to see the boys get into the rhyme and if not a bit, a little bit higher. What advice would you give to young players in the town who dream of making their way in the game? Never give up, never stop believing and, and work hard. My dad coaches the under-18s team and always stresses that they must keep focus. What do you think of that? Definitely, 100%. Yeah. Focus and concentration are key factors in a, in a game of football. Uh, so I'll make your dad right there. <laughs>